Hi, Brian McCurley from Keller Williams Metropolitan. You've probably heard by now we're in a seller's market. That's because we have record low inventory and higher and higher prices. But what you may not have heard is that buyers have become very selective. So in order for your listing to have the best success, it has to stand out on condition or price. So let's take a look today at one of the things you can do to improve the overall condition, and that's paint the kitchen cabinets. So today I want to introduce you to Erica Finnegan, owner operator of Roll With It Painting Services, who's currently inside on a cabinet job. Hey Erica. Hi Brian. Thank you so much for having us on the job today. Yeah, yeah, of course. So this homeowner contacted you, mm -hmm. knew that she wanted to paint her cabinets. Yep. So tell us how you approached that. So she contacted me. The first thing I did was asked her a few questions, such as, what color are you thinking of painting your cabinets? Some people like stark white, some people want a beige, some people want a different shade. For instance, last week I just did cabinets green. So it's all personal taste, but this particular client wanted to brighten up her kitchen. So do you bring paint samples to help the client choose a color? I do have paint samples, but what we did is we just did everything electronically. I sent her some examples online of kitchens that have been done in different colors. We, we came up with colors that work for her. Um, in this particular case, the cabinets you see all behind me are going to be a light beige, and then the island is going to be a darker beige. So after the client chooses a color, mm -hmm. what would be the next step? What I do is I take all of the doors down, as you can see, um, and I set up shop in the homeowner's basement or garage if it's a nice day. Sometimes I do some work outside too if it's really nice out. I sand down the, the cabinet doors, and the goal is to sand you don't have to sand down to the, the bare raw wood, but to get as much of the finish off as possible so that the paint will adhere well. So I also sand down all the drawer fronts and anything that gets a lot of wear and tear. And then I go around with my sander deglosser and I degloss everything. This helps take any residual sheen off of the cabinets, the drawers, and any of the framework. It etches into the, the finish and it helps the primer that I use adhere. I prime with a shellac-based primer that prevents any of the stain from bleeding through. So it adheres really well and it, it creates a good base for the, uh, the finished coats to go on. And then I always use a, an enamel-based finish paint that is meant for trim, doors, cabinets. All right, so all the doors are down mm -hmm. and you've staged a place to, for them to be painted. Let's go yep. take a look. Okay. All right. Yes, so I set up shop in this particular customer's basement, which is typically where I work. This is a cabinet door that is in process. It's going to need another coat, but this is the, the final color. I use a, a good quality foam roller to give a nice, smooth, even finish. The goal is to make them not look painted. So then I take all of the doors over to a different area, set them on drop cloths to dry. So Brian, this is where I, um, I've been setting up all of the cabinets minutes to dry. It's great if a customer has, you know, a space where I can lay everything out. It doesn't have to be a huge space, but it keeps all of the doors safe and away from pets running over them or children touching them. There's no cabinet doors spread out all over their kitchen while they dry. This space has worked out great for this particular job. And this way, while you're working, the mm -hmm. owners can live. <laughs> yes, exactly. And I really don't ask the homeowners to do to do much. They don't have to empty their cabinets. Um, they just need to provide a space for me to work and lay out the cabinets. So after these doors get all the coats that they need mm -hmm. and dry, mm -hmm. then you hang them all back up? I do. Once all of the framework upstairs is completely done and dry, then I hang everything back up. A lot of times customers will buy new hardware. It just really gives the cabinets yeah. a fresh new look. So I put all of the new hardware on and then I do a final inspection and then that's it. They can use them as normal. Then it's done. It's done.